Hey, welcome back gamers to another episode here of Faster Than Light on Gamer Guide Channel. We're going to be continuing for where we left off last time with the Eryptus and its crew. Let's go ahead and continue and get back to it. Uh, last time we had uh, picked up Yao's and uh, done a couple of the uh, little solar systems, uh, two of them, and we just got into the third one. So uh, we need to jump now to our next destination and uh, we'll probably pick up another two of these sectors here in this episode and uh, as long as we don't die uh, we'll continue on until we get as far as we can uh, as I said uh, in my last episode I definitely do not guarantee victory as I've never won a game of uh, this before but uh, as I also said it's probably a better chance of winning this time than any other as I have a couple more tricks I've learned just by watching other players online so, let's continue. All right. Nothing here. All right, so that was kind of a dud. Now, the idea in this game is we're trying to uh, pick up as many of these different beacons before uh, the rebels come and push us out of the sector, and they'll have a red wave coming from left to right. Um, so what we want to do is try to hit as many of these and then eventually come over here to the exit and get out without getting hit by the rebel wave of ships. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this one here and I think we'll come up here through the middle and then come back down this way. So taking the scenic route for sure. Alright, we have a sun near us. And uh, the mantis. Alright, then we're going to fight us here over the sun. So. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's see. Do they have a? Do they have a teleporter? So we're probably gonna get boarded in a second. Um, so anticipating that, I'm gonna send someone to the door room, uh, so we can beef up our armor interior, and then uh, we can open up our vacuum doors when they come beam on board, which they just did. There they are. That was a good call on my part. I knew that was gonna happen. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and open these dudes. And turn off the O2. And that will drain out these rooms here, uh, making it a little tougher for him to get to the engine room. I'm not really worried about the O2 room. We can get that fixed. And those are already turning pink. All right, so let's see. We have our burst lasers and we have our heavy lasers. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and use our Artemis on their shield. As soon as that's ready, and we'll wait on the heavy laser to see what happens. All right, he's going to start losing health now. All right, we just shot, and they hit a blank room. We hit their shields. Fantastic. And then we're going to hit their piloting. All right, now they're a sitting duck. So the next time, we'll go ahead and we'll tech out their weapons, and then we'll make sure this guy dies by taking out the transporter. Now, he'll hit that a couple of times, but he'll start panicking and try to get to the door. Alright. Easy victory. Let's go ahead and take this uh, fire out of here. Let's open up vacuum of space and take out that fire. Let's see, we have some scrap. 41 scrap. Real good. We got another drone and another missile. Fantastic. You, you did so good, guys. I'm so proud of you, my little crew. Yows and Dingles. <laughs> Dang, Dingles. Dangler. And uh, we can turn on our OT again before we all suffocate. One little trick here is you can open all your doors, and that will get rid of the uh, dangerous non oxygen rooms immediately. And let's close them back up and let it repopulate. Alright, we are doing good. Uh, we oh, solar flare imminent. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll send our guy back to the weapon room. And we'll jump. Uh, let's jump here. All right, small a uh, small rebel ship nearby. It seems they have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage your ship. Uh, we can demand that they surrender their goods, or we can avoid the ship. Um, well, let's try to get their goods. I like getting goods from the rebel fleet. Uh, prepare your Secure their cargo by force. Looks like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. All right. 
So we need to stop them from escaping, or uh, it will increase the rebels' ability to catch us by a couple rounds. All right, we'll try the same old trick here. We're gonna aim for the shield, and then we're gonna aim for the bridge if we hit. And that will keep them from running. There we go, that damaged them pretty good. And next, um, now they have repair drones. I'm sure they're gonna go right for the shield first. Um, so we'll hit that again, and then we'll hit their engine second. Just making sure they can't get out get away. We have 64 scrap right now, not bad. Alright, easy win. I like those easy wins. Uh, gathering information, nothing seems too useful. I got 37 scrap though, that's pretty useful. We'll take that, no complaints there. Now we could up our uh, power just to power the medical bay, but I'm not super concerned about that. Uh, I do kind of like the idea of saving this for useful things like stealth or other cool little gadgets we can get at the shop. Um, the other sensors are kind of nice, but they're not the most essential thing right now. Better shields would be good, better maneuverability would be great. Uh, right now our evasion's at 34%, so this would help that with that. If we got our evasion here again, I think that significantly helps us evade attacks. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that, because I'm, I'm planning on getting full evasion anyway. Go ahead and accept that. Alright, let's go ahead and jump. Now, let's see. We're going to hit this one. I guess we'll hit this one, and then we'll come down here. All right, so we have more people who are going to be boarding us in a second. Ah, the captain's room. Well, that's not real good. Um, how do I want to handle this? Let's send Yowzin. All right, and in that case, we're going to go ahead and send him to the shield room, just so we have that going a little bit better. Artemis, let's hit their shields. Nice. Okay, that did some good. And... What should we hit here? We could take out their weapon system. Fantastic. All right, you can go back to the shield room, you can go back to doing weapons, and I'm not going to send him to the doctor until we get done with this. Fantastic, let's hit this. I'll probably take them out. All right, that is done. Let's go and power this down one. We've got 37 more scrap. And we'll power up our medical bay and get, get our pilot healed. Everybody else is in good shape. There we go. Alright, get this guy done. Back up there, and we're ready. Could come up here, or we could come down here. Either way, it's kind of equally as good, I guess. We have another two here. I think we're going to go the top way, and we'll come down. Come down and hit this guy. <clears throat> Can't you see something moving in the shadow of the beacon? But it's all remains still. All right, well, that was a waste. We have a store up top. Hmm, but I think if I'm gonna hit the store, that would, I'd have to do it now. Or I could go here. 
problem is I don't really have that many jumps, so I think I have to hit the store now and then come on down here. Hmm, I only have 88 scrap. It's not really quite enough. Um, but I could get like a long range scanner or something possibly. Or I could just pass the store altogether. Um, doing okay on fuel, not so good on missiles actually. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and hit the store just because we might want missiles and if there's something like a long range scanner it could be good. But also get another mantis. Hmm. That could be good for boarding crew. Uh these two are not especially special because they don't have any extra crew skills, so Thomas has ten more damage, but these are better than fighting. Yeah, combat damage inflicted is halved, so how would I care about 10% more combat damage? Cloaking is really good. That's one thing I was thinking about getting. And this transporter, drone control, so we got a page two as well. Uh, I'm pretty happy with my weapons. I mean, the healing beam, heavy lasers, burst lasers is real good. Um, full beam's good. Fire beam, that's real fine, but I think I'm just going to pick up another couple missiles. Uh, I don't really want to go crazy on these, though, because it's sort of expensive for what you get. Fuel, we're okay on. We're at 12. Let's just go ahead and fix our spaceship up a little bit. And I'm kind of debating on picking up one of these mantis. Because they're really good at crew defense. Um, they're horrible at repair, but they're great at taking people out. So if we do get a crew transporter a little later on, we can have some pretty good uh, boarding parties. So we can get Logan or Lana. I don't know, maybe Yao's, uh, he's a girlfriend, we can get Lana. Lana the Mathisette. Do we want to do that? Hmm. See, I'm also trying to save it for cloaking. We might actually get free crew members, but I really do like Mantis. They're good. Um, it's kind of a hard decision here. I think I'm going to do it. Hopefully that was a good decision. Alright, so we have another Mantis. And we'll put the Mantis in our uh, security room. And I guess... I don't know, we could get another missile or two. Um, but they're so expensive. I guess we'll just pick up like maybe one. Alright, let's go. Come down here and then go this way or over here. So which one of these two? Let's go for the middle one. Skate pod floating nearby. You consider returning it to space when you learn it's mantis. Uh, can uh, pry it open or jettison the pod? Uh, pry it open. Ah, well. The mantis inside is furious. <laughs> he killed me. That's just wonderful. He cuts uh, the closest person in half with a single swipe, killing it before anyone else is hurt. Well, that sucked. Here I, uh, I rescue a escape pod and then kills Rollin. Horrible. All right, we're not real happy about that. So we just strained another crew member, but he'll be dead soon. Go and close that up. And we'll turn that off. Alright. That took out our engine, dude. I'm not real happy about that. We'll send our Mantis back here, just in case he does get through. We'll be able to kill him when he gets in there. And I guess we're going to have to put uh, Lana on engines now. Goodbye. Shouldn't have killed him. She should have joined us. I was hoping that's what would happen. I guess in the future, if I ever run into that, I'll know not to uh, open the pods. That was uh, not very good. Let's go ahead and uh, close up the doors. And turn on the O2. There we go. Alright. New engine person. That was a loss. Whoop. Didn't want to do that. Don't double open the doors. Oh, and I think I'm hurting my own guys here. That's not great. Alright, so let's go ahead and heal up here, and then we'll take off. I 
Anybody else damaged? No, we're doing okay. Well, what a bummer. All right, so let's hit down to the bottom path, and we'll choose... We could probably hit three of them. We'll see how, how we're doing. Yeah, space debris. Boo. Um, we'll hit this one and then that one. Well arm, Inge ship, destroy a small pirate craft. Teleport a signal is detected. Intruders on deck. Young Mantis is a uh, charge uniform. Teleport on deck. He begs for sanctuary from the Inge. And offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The Inge have already traced. The teleport signal and offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Well, we kind of need another person now. Um, though it could be a trap. Uh, agree to offer up the mantis in exchange for bounty or side with the fugitive. We'll go side with the fugitive. Yeah, we needed we needed the extra person. So now we have uh, three mantis. He expresses thanks and prepares to help you fight his pursuer. Fantastic. We got Lang now. All right. Well, we're getting a uh, pretty mantis-heavy crew. Uh, we'll put him in shield room. And... Let's see. We'll go ahead and fire... Artemis here. Alright. Oh, they have a drone. Should have noticed that. Okay, can we power that down? And power that up? No. Okay, we need more power. Actually, we need to upgrade our weapon system so we can use all of these together. All right, so we're gonna have to take down their drone system and take down their shield too. Don't know if one shot's gonna take down their shield. No. And that's a problem. We'll try again. We're just kind of wasting missiles otherwise. There we go. At least we're having some luck there. Ah, but they powered all the way back up. Alright, it doesn't work. We might have to jump. If firing a missile is just going to waste it. I'm wondering if maybe this will power up faster. We have more repetition, so if we can actually hit, we have an extra laser. It could actually could get in the shield and take out the uh, drone. Yeah, see so that will work. If we can just do damage to it, then we can fire the missile. I'm not really at risk here of getting damaged. But we're not a very good shot. They have a pretty good piloting system. Kind of a stale major. Now, if we could hit their drone when it goes around, that would be fantastic. Then I'll fire the missile immediately. Nice. All right, we got lucky there. Drone system down. Let's make sure it stays down. Um, or we could hit the piloting. What should we do? Hit the drone system, make sure it stays down, or hit piloting immediately. I'm gonna go for piloting immediately. There we go. That will make it a lot easier to hit them. All right, when the drone system comes back up, we're gonna shoot for their shields. And we'll fire a missile at the drone system. All right. They brought it back up. Man, look how fast they repaired the pilot area. That is crazy. They must have a repair drone or something on board. 
All right, well that worked at least. I mean, we did get them, so we're just gonna do the same strategy here. Let's continue to fire at their uh, drone system until we hit. Hopefully we hit it. Did he shoot one of my lasers down? That must be an advanced defense drone, because that's the only one that can hit lasers. Though I could try to fire a missile immediately after I... See, I'm not sure how many repetitions it will hit, so I might try to do that. I might try to hit both the missile at the same time. Yeah, let's see if we can kind of overwhelm it. Nice! Alright, that worked. Kind of covered it, since this is an advanced defense drone. You can kind of sneak your missile in there with the lasers. Alright, so next go around, we'll hit their shield, and then we'll hit their drone, their laser. Their drones again, defense drone. Nice, alright, that was fantastic. Now it's completely down. And do we want to go over to our larger lasers? No, we're okay. One more pass of this, and we should uh, should have them down. Nice. That was hard fought. They couldn't get through to us, uh, so that's what kind of saved us there. Otherwise, we could have been in trouble. One missile, two fuel, and 33 scrap. Though we did use a lot of missiles. We used up most of our missiles there. All right. Go up to this top one and then we'll exit. Alright, automatic scouts. Uh, I could get 20 scrap or download its data store. Let's find a rebel on the scout for my beacon. Uh, despite its participation, appears to be deactivated. Well. Let's see what happens if we try to download its data stores. We're able to uh, pull all the ship's data about the sector and update it. Oh, well, that was very useful, but I did get an extra um, two missiles out of it, which was something we needed. So we'll call that a win. Got a distress signal up here. That's not going to do anything for us. So let's just go ahead and exit. Too far away to be useful. And let's see, let's aid the civilian ship from these uh, pirates. Just a simple ship here. We're gonna go ahead and put on our heavy lasers. try to save missiles in this fight, so I don't see them being too much of a problem. Wow, whatever they tried to do there didn't work. They managed to mess up their ship worse when they went in to repair it. Oh, that wasn't too good. Alright, we'll pair this. Contact with the civilian ship. We got 38 scrap, we got one fuel and one missile from them and the civilian ship. We end up getting another 34 scrap, two missiles, and three fuel. So that was a nice pickup. We gotta get this fixed before we get out of here. Some of these guys both then. Anybody damaged? No, everybody seems like they're in reasonable shape. All right, let's jump to the next sector. Let's see what our choices are here. We can either go rock controlled or we can go Inge homeworld. Um, hmm. Rock controller, I don't know if what there's a definite advantage to either one of the two. Uh, we will be, we will have to do this unidentified civilian sector if we do the uh, Inge homeworld versus a unidentified hostile sector. Um, I think we're going to go with the Enge home world, so we'll see how that works. Uh, 
All right, you have arrived in Enge space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times to these robotic life forms, but they are usually willing to help. All right, good deal. First choice here. First of all, let's see where our path is. Go all the way around the outside. Which could be interesting. Or we can go through the middle, looks like. Yeah, we'll have to go through the bottom middle if we do that. And then head down. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to travel around the outside. I think we have enough time to do that. So we'll go ahead and start with this beacon here on the top. Alright, two ships are smashed into each other. A flurry of uh, comm signals and damage. It's hard to determine what has occurred. The vessels appear to be Enge. They're like locked together by the impact. They can't free themselves. To, uh, attempt to help the ship by prying them apart ignore the damage pistols. Now this is another one of those risky scenarios where you uh, could get some cash or you could end up having to fight a ship and not get much in return. So I think we're going to take the gamble. Surprise when one of the Anga vessels attacks. Well, we didn't we didn't get it. Um, still hold open fire. It looks like someone identified he was hostile. Yeah, if I've done this one before this happened. I probably should just not do this encounter and just pass it next time I come in contact with it. Because it always seems to. Both times I've tried it, it hasn't been successful. And you end up having to fight a ship and uh, you don't get a whole lot of scrap or anything when you uh, destroy it. Um, in fact, you have to give it to the enemy ship. So I'm probably just going to jump out of here since I know that I'm not going to get any reward for this. Um, just from experience. NG are kind of our... Uh, our allies. Uh, taking down our shields, so that's not real good. And we missed them. So as soon as we can jump, we're gonna jump out of here. Because we're not gonna get any reward for this fight. I don't even know why I'm wasting, wasting missiles here. Let's just stay up there, drone up. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, as soon as you jump into the system, you receive a hail from the nearby uh, civilian Enge vessel. Their captain appears on your screen. Uh, strange bug, can you assist in debugging? <laughs> strange bug, I like that. Uh, listen to the problems, I explain that you can't do any... Yeah, let's listen to the problems. Uh, we found a malfunctioning uh, mantis. I believe uh, it is using to receive input only from a human. Uh, danger evaluation extremely high. Provide assistance. Okay. So we can, uh, we can send the Mantis crew to communicate with the Mantis, or human crew with the Mantis. They said they only wanted to talk to Mantis, though, so we'll send a Mantis crew. Mantis terrified at the sight of your crew member immediately attacks his NG rescuers, and your crew a member is forced to kill him. The NG are grateful to you and help and offer a small reward. Okay. Well, hey, small rewards, okay. We'll take that. Alright, so we could hit the middle section and then go back up top, but we have a couple here to, at the end we gotta hit. Um, hmm. I don't know if we have time to get all these and then these two, so I think we're just gonna go the direct route, and we can always, at the end, try to jet out and get one of these. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, if we need to. So let's just go ahead and go ahead the top route. This is going to take a little time to come down from the top. Alright, cool. Well, in the debris system we find the small bomb, which is something I kind of wanted to substitute for my Artemis uh, missile system anyway. It's a little bit better. And 25 scrap. Fantastic, we didn't have to fight anybody. And a store. Alright, fantastic. Now we could come down through the middle, but now let's just hit the store immediately. If we can get a uh, stealth system, I think I'd like to pick that up. Let's see what we have. Uh, drone control, mm, crude teleporter. That's not too bad of an idea, because we do have a couple mantis. Burst laser 3 is good, but it uses a lot of power. So I'm not really thinking I'm going to get that one. Whole missile. And then nothing on the second page. We also can buy some crew member. So we have uh, Markand, 
He is 20 bit, 20% better at repairing, and this guy, Declan, 20% better at shields. And then we have a guy who's good at engines. That could be good since we lost Rollin uh, earlier and he was our kind of our engine dude. Could fix a little bit. Can do that. Have a round of fuel. We possibly could use one of these. Uh, let's keep things at about 12 if we can. We'll pick up some too from battles. But I don't really see. Oh, we do have cloaking. That is kind of what I wanted to get. So we're going to go and do cloaking. Um, and then later on, hopefully, we'll get the weapon system uh, upgrade that lets us shoot while cloaked. But uh, this will help us evade things. Uh, when the enemy fires on us, we can cloak and uh, they'll miss. So we're going to go pick this up. It's kind of what I was saving for. All right, so we got that system installed. And now we can hit this. Um, Let's go ahead and put somebody on the cloaking room. I don't know, can we man any controls? No, so I guess we'll just stay on doors. So we, this is the new system here. Let's go ahead and power, get some more power for the ship. There we go, now we can pull up, power up our cloaking system full time. And we'll jump. All right, you arrive at the uh, nearest small fleet of civilian NG ships. Simple description and uh, translation of their comm frequencies tells you that they're having a uh, frantic dis uh, discussion about something obviously troubling them. Hmm. All right, well, we could message them or we could ignore them. Let's try to message them, see if we can help. Uh, we're slightly shocked at your question. The leader quickly responds to declining offer with the apologetic gratitude. Uh, topic of discussion, private matter, no concern to the Federation. All right, no problem. I guess it's better than getting attacked by them. Well, sort of. I do like this crap. Uh, stress signal here. Now, if we hit that, we could hit here, and then come here and back and down. So, or, now let's hit the stress. Probably going to be a battle, but we'll see what happens. Says greetings. It's so good to see you. We've been out of fuel and floating out here for weeks. Uh, we're terrified of a pi uh, terrified a pirate or those damn rebels would find us first. Can you spare some fuel? So four fuel is a lot of fuel. Mm -hmm. That's gonna kind of put us in trouble. Um, I mean, we could get some scrap from it, but I'm not sure if we're gonna pick up enough fuel to get to the next stop if we give them four. I mean, that's a lot. Do we try it? Do we try it? Hmm. I think we'll take the risk. Got 59 scrap. That's not bad. Not a bad trade. Um, as long as we can, we can get it to the next place or pick up uh, some more fuel through battles. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we can upgrade here. We're gonna upgrade our engines a little bit more. go and ups our evasion to a bit and let's jump okay even though each individual and gay is made up of trillions of nanomachines their culture still revolves around traditional social interactions a nearby station seems to be constructed for entertainment Passing in gay travelers. All right, entertainment. Kind of a wasted section. Um, we'll go ahead and hit this one, and then we'll hit the distress, and then we'll exit. Or we could hit this one, that one, and we'll see how we do. <coughs> All right, you notice a uh, NG colony hiding on the other side of the nearby moon. Turns out they're evacuating an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War. They suggested it might be used to lure the pursuing fl uh, rebel fleet. Let's go ahead and take the cache. <coughs> 
you have the Enge complete their um, evacuations and bring the supplies on board. Nice, 41 scrap, and we got uh, repair drone. So if we get a drone system, we can fix our ship without having to send our crew off their systems. So that works out real nice. Now we could hit the stress, or we could hit, the, if we hit this one next, we could probably hit these both still. So we'll go ahead and do that. We arrive at Zoltan Research Facility. They say they are researching genetic uh, distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged uh, faster than light travel. They ask if your crew member has time to undergo a few scans. Okay. <coughs> as soon as you dock, the pirates burst onto a board of the hostile ship. It appears to be in the radar. You see Zoltan yell in the distance. We're being held hostage. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, we have a fight on our hands. Okay, we got some guys here. Now we have Mantis, and they're tougher than their borders. So we're gonna go and fight them. As we can kill them quicker. All right, let's fire the Artemis right at their shields. All right, Lang, go here, and let's see, who was our, Juan is our engine person. Shields are partially down. That wasn't too good. We missed with that. Hopefully we get some fuel out of this because we're at three already. didn't pick up any fuel. That wasn't good. It's the one thing we actually needed. Take uh, out the ship and contact the research station. Oh good, we did get three fuel from the research station. Now we also got a defense drone, Mark 1. Something we could sell, if nothing else. Thank you for rescuing us. They held a sausage to ambush suspecting passerbys. Please take this. Nice. Alright, well that makes it a little bit uh, less of a struggle now with six fuel. We got some more muscles and some things to sell. So let's see here. Yeah, um, I don't know if we're going to get a drum system, but actually I would like to go ahead and install our S-Bomb, so because that's better than our Artemis. Let's go ahead and put this down here. And we'll take our uh, S-Bomb and put that up here at the top. There we go. Artemis will probably sell off next time we hit somewhere. We could go ahead and upgrade our weapons, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And there we go. And let's upgrade our power as well, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. So now we should be able to uh, power up all our guns, heavy and and if we actually have to upgrade one more time, we could have our S-Bomb as well. So all three of these systems at the same time. That will greatly improve our offense. And we should probably get our shields up a little bit more too. 37% evasion so far. And uh, his piloting skills are now at plus 10. Now you can get up to plus 20. <clears throat> Excuse me, now you can get up to plus 20. We're just not quite there yet. All right, let's see. We have another jump on us. We'll hit the distress and then we'll exit.
All right, find a number of ships fleeing from a uh, small space station. You hail them, ask what's wrong. Help, we're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Now, I've done this one a couple of times, and it seems like more times than not, I end up losing a crew member than getting a small reward. And the trade-off, like the risk in this situation, doesn't seem worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Because uh, we're kind of, you know, minimum crew right now anyway, and I don't want to lose another crew member to something like that. One thing we could do, though, real quick, is send people into to get healed. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's see, Yao's needs to go in here too. All right, and let's see, Lang was here and Lana was back in the back. All right, let's go ahead and get it buy another power too. I'd like to uh, be able to fully charge my engines. There we go. That increases our evade to 42, so that's great. Alright, and let's go ahead and jump now. Alright, so as you arrived at the uh, long range beacon, when the faster than life drive is charged, you can jump to the next section. And here we go, here's our encounter. The Rebel Space Station and a single fighter is monitoring a beacon for Federation activity. A number of civilian ships are docked, waiting inspection by the rebels, and possibly detained, meant if they are federal, uh, Federation loyalists. The rebels haven't noticed you yet, so what do I want to do? I could either fend for myself and attack, uh, attack and escape. I could bribe the rebels to release the civilians. Uh, shut down non-vital system and stay hidden. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, if I give them 11 scrap, and uh, release a rebel. I could possibly get a crew member um, by doing the regular encounter. Uh, hmm, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure I'll get scrap if I just attack. I don't know. I've never seen what happens if this is successful. Bribe the rebels to release his own ship for 11 scrap. And I have the scrap to do it. Um, I'll try this. Uh, let's see. Like most of the rebels, these are just men trying to get by in a rough galaxy. Take your scrap and let everyone continue on the journey. We'll contact through the civilian ship. Civilians are grateful, however, uh, none of them seem eager to be mistaken as Federal's loyalists, and they quickly jump away. Well, so we didn't get anything for it. Eh, we probably should have taken the battle, but uh, that's alright. Alright, next section, and actually that will probably wrap it up for this episode. Um, right. We have to go to the Sultan uh, controlled sector, so we'll go ahead and do that. So far from uh, Federation home space here in Zoltan territory, it's not clear whether the uh, authorities will have any good will remaining. Still, you push forward. Alright, let's take a look at our area. We're still at three fuel again, so we do need to hit some counters. Uh, there's a stress signal here. The stress could be for fuel, though, so it's not especially good. Or it could also be rescue mission. And in that case, we would be able to put some fuel. Hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. But I guess we'll have to find out next time here on uh, Gamer Guide. But thank you so much for checking out uh, Fast and Light Episode 2 with me. And if you would, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that very much. And if you're new to the channel, uh, go ahead and think about subscribing. I'd appreciate that. And uh, come back soon for some more Faster Than Light. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.